Solve the following system of equations by graphing 2x plus y equals 5 and x minus 3y equals negative 8. Remember, when we talk about solving a system of equations, what we're looking for is the combination of x and y that simultaneously makes both equations true. Another way of saying that is it's the point xy that lies on both lines at the same time because each line is all the points that make that equation true. And so if it's the point that makes both true simultaneously, it has to be on both lines at the same time. So of course, that's the point where the two lines cross, the intersection point. So to solve a system of equations by graphing, we need to graph each line individually and then pick out the point where they overlap or where they cross. Later on, we'll do this process somewhat in reverse, where we'll have a picture and we'll wanna find where two lines cross and to do that, we'll write their equations as a system and then solve that system algebraically. But we're working in the other direction for now. Just for practice with graphing, I'll graph the two lines in two different ways. The first line, I'll graph by rewriting in slope-intercept form. If I isolate y, I get y equals negative 2x plus 5. The y-intercept is 5, right here, and the slope is negative 2, so over 1, down two. And we can connect those two points and get the first line. I'll graph the second line just by finding two points that lie on the line. So I'll build a small table for x and y and find two points. So all I'm going to do is pick an x value, any x value I want, and find the corresponding y value. That'll give me one point, and I'll repeat that process to get a second point. Just to make things simple, I'll pick x equals zero to begin with. Well, if x is 0 in this equation, the first part disappears, and we have negative 3y equals negative 8. Dividing both sides by negative 3, we get y equals 8 thirds, which is OK. But the problem is that it's hard to graph on this grid because it's not one of the grid points. To avoid graphing something with this fraction, I'll just try another point. So I'll try x equals 1, for instance. If x is 1, we have 1 minus 3y equals negative 8. Subtracting 1 from both sides, we have negative 3y equals negative 9. And dividing by negative 3, we have y equals 3. That point I can graph, 1, 3. And that happens to be on the other line as well. And then if I take another point, 2 for instance, I'm going to run into the same problem I did with 0. After a little trial and error, I'll find the next point that works is 4. If x is 4, we have 4 minus 3y equals negative 8. Subtracting 4 from both sides, we have negative 3y equals negative 12. And then dividing both sides by negative 3, we have y equals 4. So the point 4, 4 is up here. And connecting those two points, we can draw the second line. Once we graph these two lines, it looks like the intersection is here at 1, 3. And it just so happens that that was a point that we used to graph both lines separately. So we do know that that's the point where they cross. So the intersection is 1, 3. In other words, 1, 3 is the combination of x and y that makes both equations true at the same time. And we can check it by plugging in 1 and 3 for x and y respectively into both equations. And you'll find that they both check out.